Now then, she's one of the nation's best love broadcasters, presenting everything from royal weddings to Wimbledon. However, throughout her successful career, she's always fought to see more women thrive in sport. And after proving her own family wrong, she went on to present Grandstand back in 1995. Please welcome the amazing Claire Balding. <laughs> Tracy can sing. Oh, she? Oh, she can oh, sing. She oh, can sing. Um, so, Claire Balding, OBE, now CBE. Yes. Congratulations. Well, not officially till I, till I go to men. What is it, next so, month? Uh, December the 15th, yeah. <gasps> Does that and mean you keep both, the OBE and the CBE? I think or just so. give the other one back? Well, I don't oh, think they, they take oh, it No, back. I think you keep it, but you just, obviously, you'll, you'll upgrade. You won't have OBE, CBE, no. you'll just have CBE. Right. Yeah. So, Whatever. tell us, when you got you the letter, say. how did you... Was it a completely out of the blue? Yeah. I opened the letter and I thought, what have I done wrong? <laughs> and then I stood there at the island in the kitchen and just started swearing. And very, you know, very ladylike, obviously. Mm. And um, Alice said, what's happened? What's happened? And I said, look. And then I burst into tears. Aww. And then we had to keep it secret, so I couldn't tell my mum and I couldn't tell any of my family until it was... Well, I mean, you know, yeah. well-deserved. You are a, a, a massive trailblazer in, you know being a woman presenting in a very male-dominated sort of Well, forum. I don't think it is now. I mean, Not the, now, no. no. I mean, back in the day. And I wanted to ask you, cos actually even your own family took a bit of convincing, didn't they? Oh, yeah, no, my dad is... Uh, yeah, I mean, he'd be top of the list of people who think women can't do anything, really. Um, <laughs> but, but I do think he's changed, and, and I hope... Not he's just, evolved. <laughs> he's, he's evolved. Mm, a little bit. <laughs> um, <laughs> But I think it's so exciting now, not only that there are so many women involved in sports broadcasting, which is fabulous, and I... And but that, so a lot pleased. of that will be down to you, Claire. Oh, I don't think no, so. No, it, it will. They but, say you've got to see it to believe it. Yeah, but I think also that there are just m way more opportunities, and, it, and it's about also convincing producers and editors to give you the chance. And what I'm really loving is there's so much more coverage of women's sport, and to me that's hugely important because it's a very visible and um, strong way of showing women being competitive, getting up when they're tackled, trying again when they get beaten, um, being ambitious, being competitive, being um, forceful, and those being feminine attributes, you know? This is not only something no. that men can do, and it's something we should celebrate, because you also see women playing in teams, women playing individually, and it is about, I think, mental and physical strength, and sport is so beneficial, and, and I just want to help spread the message that the more girls that, that play sport or get involved in sport, either on the field of play or behind the scenes as coaches, as physios, as mm. nutritional advisors, as event organisers, I think that the more we can make sport a place that we will all enjoy, because yeah. I think for lots of people, yeah. sport in school is something that made them feel very uncomfortable. Well, well, yeah, and that was very dependent on the teacher as well. And, it, yeah. yeah. And, and so I think giving them more options, you know, you look at how cricket has changed completely, the 100 has meant that so yeah. many more girls and women get the chance to play cricket professionally. Um, rugby league, I, I'm president of the Rugby League and the Rugby League World Cup is on at the moment and I was yesterday in Leeds watching England women, their opening match against Brazil and it's so exciting to see how Rugby League and Rugby Union, the Rugby Union World Cup's happening at the moment, um, down under, and, and just to see how many more options there are now. Well, a lot girls. more girls now are playing football. Yeah. Again, yeah, because you them. see them, you see them, they're so successful. And, you know, and I do think that. I think you're doing yourself a disservice. How do you feel, I mean, Claire, sorry? I was going to say, Alex Scott has credited you for being somebody that she saw on television and aspired to be. Oh, wasn't she brilliant on, on Graham Norton the other night with yeah. Taylor Swift? And watching Taylor Swift say to Alex, you know, you know how much respect she has for, for I think, all, all of the, the, those who have been able to play football, who fought for the right to play football, and now you look at the Lionesses and how oh. celebrated... They are, and Jill Scott going off into the jungle. Jill, I know, I've, I've got oh. my money on Jill. Oh, she's superb. <laughs> um, how do you feel, Claire? Do you think we still have a way to go with women commentating on men's football, on soccer? Do you think that's still a toxic environment as uh, regards mm. people like you commenting on that, commentating uh, on that? Yes, and therefore I won't. Um, no, <laughs> <laughs> what I think is exciting in some of the other sports, and just to mention rugby league again, not only have we got a Women's World Cup happening alongside the men's and the wheelchair, all three, climaxing at the same time in, in November, um, 18th and 19th, just in case you want to know and want tickets. <laughs> um, but also, we've had female referees for men's matches in rugby league. Mm -hmm. Now, can you imagine that imagine happening that in happening, men's football? Yeah. 
No. I know in and boxing it... it's moving on, though. In boxing, yeah. on the sports, they have the female um, commentator every, every time. They just had the new, uh, full show, the full panel was nothing but female boxing. Did you see it that night? The full I did, I watched it, yeah, yeah, yeah. All women, and it was yeah. amazing. It was such a good watch. Tyson even came home out of training camp to watch it. Really? Yeah, and we sat up with and my little girl. Out. It was the O2, and it was I said absolutely that. sold out. Yeah. yeah, Savannah Marshall and Clarissa Shields had I know what yeah. It was yeah. sensational. And they do. They are doing it so much more now. It's but, so much more... And, and actually, and that's why, you know, Action Women of the Year, which is... Which yes, is on... I was about to ask you about that on BT Sport, we've done it for 10 years, and that is really celebrating that huge cross-section of sports that women are now involved in. And this year's shortlist, Beth Mead is there, obviously from mm -hmm. the Lionesses, Golden Boot winner at the European Championships, but Molly McCann, Molly Meekle yep. McCann, yep. big UFC superstar, oh. Ailish McColgan, do you remember her winning the 10,000 yes. metres at the yes, Commonwealth yes. Games? Mm -hmm. Everyone crying, Hannah Cockcroft, wheelchair athlete, Eve Muirhead, who skipped the curling team to gold at the Winter Olympics. And it's just wonderful to see that huge range, yeah. and the youngest one on the list is Andrea Spendolini Syriax, the diver who won Commonwealth Games. Who's Fred Syriax's daughter? Exactly yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So it's a really lovely way of saying, look at what all these women have achieved. Um, let's celebrate the differences and the messages that they have, as well as what they've actually done in sports. Mm. I find it hugely inspirational. I love doing it. We've done it for ten years now. And it's a public vote, so it's it's just it's really really great. Fantastic. And we were talking. One of the topics we were discussing was was, was romance. Did I hear with Alice, your lovely wife Alice? Yes. That she didn't tick all the boxes you, you wanted in a woman. She ticked the boxes. No, it's the other way round. Other way round. Other way round. She, she put didn't tick all the boxes. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't. She, she didn't put a list on the fridge for reasons why she shouldn't get involved with me. Oh, she oh, did that. Yeah. Yeah. That's yes. a bit cruel. What were they then? One, I was a te television presenter. <laughs> I was a telly. Oh, there are lots of things, but um, it's OK. 20 years later, I've managed yep. to convince her it was the right... And have you two, we were, we're again, talking about yeah. topics, have you two had a discussion about later life and care and...? Well, here's the thing. I want to live in a house with all my school and university yes, mates. That's yeah. the greatest yeah. idea. I want to live in yeah. a commune with all my mates. Yeah. Alice really doesn't. Like so. the Golden Girls. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, that's a terrible we idea. We can all get shady pines together, can't we? Yeah. Like the Golden Girls. Yeah. It'd be terrific. And then you can share care, as it were. Mm. And then you can all have dogs as well. And it doesn't matter who's going around <laughs> holiday. Someone's always there to look after. <laughs> and I believe donkeys. she's like chosen her care home already, right? Did you say? Well, she's quite... Is it called Denville Hall, the one for the actors? Yeah, for the actors, yeah. 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 Well, Alice has done a bit of acting, so she's probably qualified. That would be you fun, know. wouldn't it? And you're still... Are you still going to be doing more goggle box? Oh, I hope so, yeah. We really enjoy that. Do it at home. And they bring... You probably know, they bring a little hamper of goodies. So that's quite Ooh, nice. Oh, that's a bag of snacks. That's one of my favourite yeah, Fantastic. Yes. <laughs> well, Claire, as ever, a joy to have you Thank with you. us. And um, that's BT Sports Action Woman... Awards, uh, very important indeed. Go women.